Here are the four components for certification. Click on each tab for more details on each component. This component ensures you have the foundational knowledge to continue on to the remaining components in the certification process. You will meet your support team, complete on-demand modules in the Learning Well, meet your aquatics team, meet your members, and observe your family and open swim as well as your swim lessons, swim team, and master's programs. All lifetime managers complete Leadership, the Lifetime Way certification. This certification may be held in your market or you may travel to complete it. Communication for leadership certification will come from LTU and the facilitator, so keep an eye out for it. On-the-job training is completed with your area lead or regional manager. You will be observing lifetime swim at a club other than your home club, as well as receiving hands-on experience and teaching back. At the end of on-the-job training, you will need to pass an assessment covering self-directed and on-the-job training components. On-demand will be facilitated by me, your education specialist. Each learning section consists of on-demand module in the learning well, an activity, a checkpoint call with me, and an assessment to ensure you know the content from the learning section. There's an opportunity to take a test out assessment for some sections. If you pass the test out, you will be marked complete for the section and will not need to complete the module, activities, call, or follow-up assessment. Don't be discouraged if you don't pass the test out. By attempting the test out assessments, you will learn the areas you are strong and the areas to focus during the module. The final step of on-demand certification is to deliver a final presentation. This presentation determines whether you are certified or not certified. I will now set the expectations for certification. During certification, your priority is certification. To help with this expectation, it is recommended that you complete certification in one of the following settings. At a club other than your own, work with your GM or regional manager to find a location. Or if you choose to complete certification at your home club, you make the necessary arrangements so you will not be distracted. It is expected that you complete all modules, activities, and assessments by the deadline. These will be communicated through Outlook appointments and or emails. You must be on time for each call with WebEx ready to go at the start of each call. I also expect that you are engaged and participate in these calls. This is my way of knowing that you know, and don't be afraid to ask questions. While engaged in learning, you will need to prevent distractions or disruptions. Close your email, hide your cell phone, give your walkie-talkie to another aquatics leader, and let others know you cannot be disturbed. You must be attentive and focused at all times to ensure that you do not miss any important information. And finally, you must pass all assessments with a score of 90% or better. If any of these expectations are not met, the outcome is removal from certification. Throughout the certification process, remember the learning contract. My job is to serve and support you. Do not hesitate to reach out with any questions. Now that you've completed this module, you should understand the four components of the Aquatics Manager Certification and the expectations of certification. Your next steps are to review your Aquatics Manager Certification Binder. Review the Frequently Asked Questions for Aquatics Manager Certification. It is a resource for the module and can be found as a link in the top left corner of the slide. Complete self-directed learning. Request your on-the-job training schedule from your regional manager. And finally, get excited for your Aquatics Manager certification.